guys, hope you're having a great day. This is the end of our Monday. Monday was a, is usually a very busy day because of the weekend and we don't usually do too much house cleanup. We kind of try to relax in the weekend or we do something. This weekend we didn't, it was uh, cold and rainy this whole weekend so we didn't do a whole lot and we were home. But it was good, we had a good relaxing time and so today actually went really quickly. We got up and um, I got up early, I think I got up at five and started working, which was great and then um, Kids got up, I, got, I had to get them up early because that daylight savings, ugh, the worst. And so I got them up early, or try to get them up early. And then we did all our school and our chores. And then um, it's been a good day. We were gonna go to the park today, but it was it's cold. It's only like 30s today, which is so strange. So my daughter and I went out and we did our driveway. We have a really steep driveway. So we went out and did some exercise out there in the driveway. So that was good. And then we came in and now the kids are like, I'm hungry. So what I did today for today's dinner is I made, I pulled out, um, Mondays we usually eat stuff that we have left over from the weekend because we usually, like I made Sloppy Joes and we had hot dogs this weekend. Um, and so I usually try to incorporate that into our meals and we also do a casserole. So what I did today, because I know my husband likes Sloppy Joes, we have something that's called Jared's Casserole. We call it Jared's Casserole because it came from a person named Jared. <laughs> he gave us a recipe, but we tweaked it to make it our own. So we call it Jared's Casserole, but it's basically pasta, kielbasa, fettuccine, and tomato sauce. So that casserole is real simple to make. So all I did is last, it, I actually made it not this past time, but the last month and I still had it in the freezer. So the first time we did it, we froze it with the pasta and that was fine. If you don't have time in your day and you just have to throw a pan in the oven and need to cook because that's how busy your life is, I would recommend um, freezing the entire meal with the pasta. But for us, it was okay just to mix the ingredients up, put in a bag, and then all I had to do was cook the pasta and add it to it. So I did that this morning. I cooked... Um, the pasta and then all I had to do was add the sauce to it. So I did that and just let it heat up. I set it in this pot on the stove all day long. That was perfect. I just heated up some um, California blend veggies and this is Sloppy Joe's and there's some hot dogs that we had on the grill. So I figured someone would probably grab those and eat them. So that's gonna be our dinner tonight. Super simple. I pulled out some grapes because we got grapes on sale and those are really good. And then I'm gonna have my wrap. And this is my Asian lettuce wrap. So I took that out and heated up. So this is what our house is looking like after school all day long. With pretty picked up. It's not too messy. Um, it was a good Monday. So I feel like the house is good and in order. And now the busyness will begin and we'll be scooping out food for all the children. Um, technically I only have to do six, seven that I have to feed right now. So it'll be easy. My husband won't get home until a little bit later. So he'll eat when he gets home, but we'll start scooping out for seven. We usually always take our stuff and I usually make it in my pots like this. And I never let the kids get their stuff out. I mean, until you get a certain age, then you can start scooping your own food out. So what I do is I put it on the counter here next to my plates and then I just start scooping and they come sit up at the bar usually. And then we uh, divvy out their food. So I've used to, I've learned to give less to them. If you give them too much, then I always think these big portions and I realize, you know, they're not gonna eat that. Their stomachs are so tiny. So we just give them less and then, okay, eat your food or try it. If they don't really love it, if they seriously don't love it, then, you know, there's another option on their plate tonight. So tonight will be easy because I have Sloppy Joe's and the Jared's casserole. So those, some within both those, they should like their dinner. So you can watch and see how our dinner routine works in a large family.
Okay. Now that the kids are all happily eating, everybody's got a plate of food and they're chowing down. So now I'm going to make my plate here. And so I just take, I got my stuff right here and I just take my lettuce leaf here. And all I do is put this on it. This has got chicken, rice, cabbage, corn, uh, corn carrots, um, green onion, and I think that's it in some Asian stuff. And so then I use this stuff, which is sweet chili sauce. This is the only one I like, sweet chili sauce. It's my absolute favorite. It's super, it's good. So I'll just put a little bit on here. And that's it. And then roll it up. And then I'll be eating that. So that's my dinner. You should chop that part off at the end there. Super simple. Okay, after everybody's done eating, they take their own plates, if they're of age, and they come to the trash can. They lift up the trash, and then they take their plates, and they scrape them into the trash. If we have meat on that plate or something the kitties would enjoy, because we have seven little kitties outside, we would give it to the kitties. So I try to get them to scrape everything off their plate, because if they don't, the person that does the dishes is going to have food in the sink that they have to pick up, and we don't have a garbage disposal. So here's Autumn taking her plate, and she's going to take it and put it in the sink. We just set it in the sink, and I do dishes, and that's it. Yeah. Good night. Good job, Autumn. I'm sorry. Okay, here's Steven. He's going to bring his to the sink. Oh, the kitties won't eat the broccoli. So here, put it in the trash. Can you lift up the trash? Show them how you do it. All right, new trash can. So he's going to scrape his food. Do it real careful. Real careful. Good job. Look at that. Awesome. Get all the food off. Okay. Good job. Great. And then what do you do with your plate? Do we put it in the refrigerator? <laughs> we put it in the sink nice and carefully. Put it in there. No. <laughs> put it in the sink nice and careful. Good job. Great job. All right, you're done. Good job. Good job. So if I had a lot of little ones like I did back in the day and they didn't that I they didn't scrape their own plate, plates because that would be a disaster. I would sit before I even got it from the table, which was very rare for me to sit down and actually eat with my kids at the same time because that just usually you put it out and they eat really quick and then by the time you are done serving they're already finished and you start clean up. So it was very rare that I actually ate with my children. But there were times that I got, I got to. Um, now I can sit down and have a meal the entire time with them. But there was a time back in the day when I didn't, I never even got to sit down with my family, which sounds so bad, but it was just so many little ones. So what I did, the times I did sit down, is I would take the plates and I would gather them together close to me and I'd start scraping them onto one plate. Before I even left the table, if I had a piece of bread or a napkin, I would actually wipe the plates so they were really, really clean, pretty clean. So that way, when you wash dishes, it's so much easier because there's no sense going to the sink and scraping everything off and having more and more of a mess. So do as much as you can before to help that. So, okay, this is our easy dinner tonight. It was super simple, casserole dish, it's done. We'll have um, this, we ate a little bit earlier today, almost five, because kids were a little bit hungrier, and that's okay. The time changed, though, that's right, because, or actually, no, it's technically only 3.30 right now, right? <laughs> okay, they must have been really, they must have been really hungry today. Okay, yeah, that's, okay, well, anyways, they'll be hungry. We'll have popcorn tonight. So, we'll just be, I'll make a plate for my husband for when he gets home, and I've got three more people that still need to eat that just are off working. So, we'll keep the stuff on the stove for them. And I'm filling the sink up right now. I just put my water, I plug my sink. Put a couple things of dish soap in here and then I'm gonna fill this up and then I'm gonna just put my dishes in here. Real simple so they can start soaking. They're not that dirty plate, so they'll go really quick. And I will do the dishes. The girls have already kind of picked, helped me pick up the food. Perfect. There we go. Let that kind of fill up there. And I have taken the food here. I made a plate for my husband here. I always make his plate of food so that it's done. And then there's a couple, there's a little bit more left in here still, but I've got a few more kids to eat. So I will um, just leave that extra. I'll put on the stove. And my husband's, I will take to the microwave here because he will be home a little bit later. So I'll be putting his plate in here. And then it's going to be in there. And then when he gets home, he can eat. So that's how we do a Monday evening dinner. Super easy. Um, so they wanted to see how we did one of our dinners. So that's how we do it. My wrap was delicious. I love those. Those are my absolute favorite. I will eat them every single night, which I have been. So I've been doing um, granola in the morning with fruit. And then I've been doing um, some soup for lunch or some like just veggies and hummus, things like that. And then if I need a snack, some fruit, but I haven't been too hungry, which has been good. And then dinner, I've been having the lettuce wrap. So I really enjoy those good food. I also made yogurt today. So I did, I went back to using the whole milk and then I got my yogurt starter from Walmart again. I bought it last time when I was doing my video 
and I got it from Aldi's, and it was okay, it was just thinner, but this is really good. So you can see it is, I can't even tell, it's, it's so thick. <laughs> I was just saying, you can't even, can you see like the little lumps in there, like the little divots? That's some good yogurt. So this is gonna be nice and thick yogurt, and that's using whole milk, so I'm excited for that. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got 13 jars of yogurt in there, and so I decided to do it thicker, let me show my water up here. I decided to do it thicker because my kids, um, we have been having a lot of it with smoothies and we've had a lot of it frozen and that's fine to use it that way, but they want to have it more like with just the strawberry sauce and some granola. So that's what I decided to do. So I thought, well, I'll do it thicker so it's a little bit, you know, got a little more texture when they're eating it. So that was our Monday. It was a very good day. Super easy, done. Like I said, it was just, it's cold. So we didn't go to the parks. So we were just home. So now we're going to go downstairs. We're going to play with our kitties. That girls let all the cats in and that's what we'll be doing the rest of the evening and just chilling. I'll probably work on this video, hopefully get it up, and then uh, it'll be a good, easy Monday. So I like those. We should have an easy week this week. I'm trying to think of anything exciting that we have, my loud kids. Um, we just have, we have our homeschool party on Thursday at the library, so we'll be doing that, and then we're gonna go plant at our community garden on Thursday. So afterwards, we're gonna go and the kids get to learn how they plant. It's gonna be really good because they get to go back each week and see how everything's growing in that, and it's right across the street from our park, so it'll be really nice that way so okay i hope you enjoyed this it was just a quick little video i thought hmm, what can i was trying trying to think to record something every day try to make it my goal and so i'm thinking what can we do and the kids are like let's just do our dinner routine so i thought okay so this is easy this is our easy monday since it was such an easy monday i already went down and got tomorrow's meal out so tomorrow is going to be stuffed shells I'm trying to use up the dinners that i had already in the freezer from last month so they don't get yucky um and that's a pre-made meal it's got um, this big sh like jumbo shells and all my stuffed like pizza type toppings, meat, it's got sausage and ham and um, I think we did, I'm trying to think what else we used, um, hamburger, bacon, and then we did like a cheese or a, a red sauce on it. So we're going to have that tomorrow. So I just pulled that out so we can have that tomorrow and then we'll probably do some grilled cheese sandwiches because we have a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches. So we'll probably make that tomorrow for lunch and then breakfast we'll have more than likely some yogurt with granola. The kids will really like that. So, okay, hope you enjoyed this and we will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.